There are over 50 rescued animals currently residing in Emma's dream rehab centre, including three warthogs, a wild member of the pig family, and named because the patches on their face look like warts, even though they're just thick patches of skin. OK, lunch time. These guys for lunch today have some nice apples and mealies, which is dried corn for these guys. Warthogs mainly eat grass, fruits and berries because they don't hunt, but they'll eat scraps if they're there. And why are they on their knees? Because they have short necks and long legs. This beautiful one here, this is No Name. Then we have Percy, who is our other male here, um, who we hand raised as a teeny little baby. And last but not least, this is Patricia. She's our female of the group. They've all got different stories of them coming into the centre. So Percy came in when he was just a little baby. After we had big, big rains this side, we believe that maybe his den got flooded and he got separated from his family. Um, he was only a couple of weeks old um, and we had to bottle raise him. We have Patricia. She came in at about a year old. She was a pet, so she was sleeping in the, her owner's bed. She was with the dogs, um, so she didn't know how to be a proper warthog. She hadn't met another warthog before she met our other two, um, but she started to graze, she started to socialise, and she's doing amazingly. No Name came from a zoo where he was kept in a tiger pen. Luckily for him, they, they were still fed, so they didn't have the need to eat him, but he had to live off their scraps. Neglected in this way, his health deteriorated. He came in absolutely in a horrific condition. He was emaciated, he had rickets, which is a disease of the bones. Um, so yeah, that was a really tough one and it took us a long time for uh, him to trust us. Um, the only thing he knew from humans was pain and suffering. But thanks to Emma, No Name's attitude of humans is much improved. <laughs> There's a warthog trick for you. Just rub their tummies and they'll go down. <laughs> In South Africa, we are going through a drought at the moment. Everything is dry. We have not a lot of water anywhere. So the animals need to keep cool. So on a day like this, how do we keep them cool? Mud bath. They absolutely love their mud bath. In the wild, they would find any water, any mud, and wallow in it. On these hot days, it's what they enjoy the best. So I'm not surprised they've gone straight into it. And I think they'll keep going for a little bit and getting it more and more muddy. The more and more muddy, the nicer it gets for them. But it's just the two males making the most of the mud. Patricia is having none of it. Because she was raised as a pet, rehabilitation for her is learning to be a warthog again. Patricia, she occasionally does it, but not as much. I think that she just wasn't really given the opportunity. Go on, Patricia. I think you'll like it. I'm putting a little bit of mud on their skin so that she can feel how nice it is, so that she, they actually get in. Come in. It's absolutely important that they do do this um, because it protects their skin against the sun um, and it protects them against external parasites like ticks. Nice. They get treated like kings and queens here. It is a little warthog spa for, for the day and it keeps them nice and nice cool.